these neighborhoods even when there is no fire big burning fire they visit these neighborhoods and right and at the see two and the 134 be if something breaks out I'm, I'm guessing you had a plan of attack for anything that happened in this particular area yeah, we do call that pre-fire yeah. planning so the battalions in those areas that are at high fire risk they know what they're facing uh, this fire scenario season. is involved in Glendale, so those homes are actually in the city of Glendale. So we're also, you know, coordinating with Glendale in the defense of those homes. But we do pray fire, pre-fire plan, and we have very definitive operational uh, directives that we follow. Margaret, the shot we were just showing um, from our helicopter was a man spraying down his roof. What is your recommendations for people to do that or not? Well, we don't currently, as I said, have any evacuations order in place. So we're not asking them to leave immediately. So if they want to do that, it can certainly help prevent embers that may land, you know, on the roof. Sure. Mm -hmm. Those homes that back up to the brush like that, we would hope that they've already right at Eagle Rock Plaza. met Glendale's brush clearance requirements. So they don't have vegetation backing right up to the home. If they have decks in the back, clearing all the debris that may be under those decks, which trap the embers and then allow fires to start to, and then impact a home. Yeah, so we had, these we had, are all steps they can take. Yeah, Margaret, we understand that you have a water source that's very close to this particular fire area. How big of a factor is that for your helicopters to have such a quick turnaround? Well, we strategically select, you know, our helispots and then use those local water sources to be able to make these efficient operations, like you mentioned. So that's, of course, extremely helpful, uh, but we also create our, our staff helispots that we have water through hydrants for the helicopters. So those will all be put in place. I'm, I'm guessing it's way too early to know what the cause of this fire was, but did you have any reports earlier of a car fire on the side of the two or the 134, or was there uh, any reports of any activity on the sides of the freeway that may be able to be traced back to the cause of this fire? Look at that. We don't have anything that we can confirm at this time. There were multiple conflicting reports you know, out, but as you can see, our focus is 100% on the extinguishment of this fire at this time. Getting really so close you have to the 143 houses. LAFD firefighters on the ground right now. You've got three LAFD helicopters conducting these water drops. At what point do you think that you would need more assistance or do you feel pretty confident in this crew getting this out? Well, that call is made by the incident command. So that is being constantly evaluated, and if they see the need for additional resources, then they will There's not hesitate house. to request that. And, and we're happy to come back and provide you know updates to you as this progress progresses. We've seen police cars in the neighborhood over there in the Glen Oaks Canyon area, no doubt telling uh, residents there that they need to prepare to get out. When will that change? When will you make that announcement, and the Margaret? That people have to go the freeway is backed up all the way to they definitely through north to hollywood that call come? all the way from yeah, glendale I can't predict to north hollywood that is the freeway is closed and the people are just sitting on the freeway on the evolving Unreal. conditions on the fire ground all right so we make cotton barbecue we're in constant communication and when they